Hello, my name is Sean, and today I'll be going over lettered hex abundance. This module is very similar to orange hex abundance, and the only way to tell the difference between the two is by pressing the center button, which will start to transmit a five numbers consisting of one through five. Four, one, two, three, five. And then to start off with, I'm going to create a 5x5 five five matrix of letters consisting of the alphabet from A to Y, excluding the Z. And now what I have to do, I'm going to write the five digit number here on the left hand side here from top to bottom. And then we need to rearrange this matrix so that the numbers are in one through five order from top to left, left to right, top to bottom. That was easy. And now this. There we go. This is our matrix. And then we're going to need these letters over here. So it's going to be Charlie Whiskey, Victor, Oscar, Papa, Alpha. And as you see, I did it in a clockwise order. It doesn't matter what order that you tell your expert, as long as you give off all the letters. So now to describe this puzzle. Pressing a non-center button will place a piece on the matrix at the same spot as the letters displayed on the button. So pressing Charlie will place a piece right there. And then pressing a second non-center button will cause the piece to move to that letter space, storing the manhand distance between the two letters. So if we go from Charlie to Whiskey here, that is a manhand distance of one. Whereas Victor is a manhand distance of two because we have to go left once and down once. Diagonally does not count as a direction, and even so going diagonally counts as two in Manhattan distance. It's much easier to basically figure out the x, the difference of the x-axis and y-axis between the two letters on the matrix. So, the whole point is we have to press all the six buttons in such a way that the Manhattan distance being stored is greater than the previously stored Manhattan distance to disarm this module. So say if I went from Charlie to Whiskey, that's a Manhattan distance of one. So now I need to find something that's definitely greater than. So let's say if we went to A instead from Whiskey, so that'd be a Manhattan distance of one, two, three, which is a valid move to do. But we have to press all six buttons. So how do we figure this out? Well, I like to work, at least work this module backwards. So we're finding the greatest Manhattan distance between two letters. And usually the best way to find those is finding letters that's basically close to the corners. Like Charlie is nice to a corner here. Even Whiskey is better because that's one closer to a um, corner. While Victor is definitely a best choice which it is directly in a corner and then there's Oscar that is next to a corner Papa and Alpha so what I'm seeing right here is Victor and Oscar being definitely a high distance away from each other having a distance of seven so I'm gonna choose Victor Oscar as my first two here and then from the Victor or Oscar we need to find a smaller distance which is not greater than seven or even seven in this sense. Charlie seems like a good look if we're coming from Oscar. Whiskey is also actually definitely the best one is especially if we're coming from Oscar. Papa, not really that great. And Alpha is not really that great. Papa could be good from Papa, from Victor I mean, if we're going to do it that way. But I feel like the Oscar Whiskey is definitely going to be more beneficial so how about we do something like this and write so so from the victor we went to oscar and then from the oscar we went to whiskey so this has a manhattan distance of six right now so now from the whiskey we need to find a much greater higher dist a smaller distance but still pretty high how about we go from the whiskey to the papa that has a manhattan distance of one two three four so that's definitely possible. So now we need something that is less than four here while going from Papa and we have our choice of Charlie and Alpha. Well, if we go from the Alpha and then the Charlie, that's a distance of one and then two, which can't happen. But if we go from Papa to Charlie, that's one, two, three, which is less than four. 
and then Charlie to Alpha is only one, two, so that works. So we need to go from Papa to the Charlie to the Alpha. And I've written it backwards because the whole point of this puzzle is to go from least to greatest, not greatest to least. So from here, from Alpha to Charlie, that's a distance of two. From Charlie to Papa is a distance of four. This is gonna be one, two, three, is this also four? No, this is a distance of three, and then Papa to Whiskey is one, two, three, four. And then it's a distance of six. Yep, and then Oscar to Victor is a path of seven. So now we just press the buttons in this specific order. There may be more than one solution to this puzzle, but this is a solution to this puzzle. So now we can start inputting it. Try Papa, Whiskey, Oscar, Victor. You see, module solved. Let's do another one. I'm going to copy this. The other thing is, if you have trouble of hearing or unable to hear at all, you can press the status light to enable deaf mode. And what this will cause is when you press the center button, the five numbers will appear on the center button. Four, five, three, two, one. Okay. Then we need to do this, and then four, five, three, two, one. So let's do the comms first. And then here. And then finally here. And then same for the rows. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. This is our new matrix now. So now we gotta do these letters here. So we have golf, whiskey, tango, Oscar, Juliet, Foxtrot. So let's take a look here. Golf is in the corner. Whiskey's pretty close there, but tango's definitely better. So probably my best bet here is doing the golf tango. All right, we can move golf and tango. So what else is close to a corner here? Hmm, I see whiskey as an option if we were going from the golf here. So I'm tango to golf to whiskey. Usually this is a distance of seven, but this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go to whiskey here. And then from the whiskey, we have our choice of Oscar, Juliet, and Foxtrot. I would say the Foxtrot is definitely a good choice. We can't use Juliet because that's the same distance between the uh, whiskey and golf. But we can definitely use the Foxtrot to our advantage and then maybe go from there to the Oscar because let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That is definitely a five. And then one, two, three, four, five. No, has to be to one, two, three to the Juliet and then to, the Oscar will be only two, so Julia to Oscar. Two, three. Now we can just double check that real fast. We have from Oscar to Julia, that's two. And then Julia to Foxtrot, it's one, two, three. And then Foxtrot to Whiskey is one, two, three, four, five. Whiskey to Golf is one, two, three, four, five, six. And last but not least, Golf to Tango is seven. Now, let's say if we did Oscar to Foxtrot and do some random shenanigans here. You notice that the module won't strike us. They won't strike us until we press all six buttons. The other thing is that if we start pressing the buttons like so, we can reset any input by pressing the center button. Four, five, so now I can start doing three, this. So this would be two, Oscar Juliet, one, Foxtrot Whiskey, Golf Tango. I hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, guys, keep talking and don't explode.